Hey everyone, it's Mariah Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm a little bit sick, but I am home and I had some inspiration. I really wanted to just sit down and play with makeup. Um, and so today I decided that I wanted to do, um, use the Persona palette. Um, I know I've posted, um, a video about it on my channel, um, previously, but I just wanted to go ahead and use it again. Um, this is made for brown eyes. Um, I have hazel eyes, so it's a combination of brown and green. Um, so this is a perfect palette for me. Um, whenever I wear these kind of tones, my eyes look super, like, rich brown color, like my mom's. So, um, that's what we're going to do today. So, as you can see right now, I am wearing my glasses, and I do have a bit of eyeliner on. Um, I'm kind of going to just work around that, um, because I already tight-lined my eyes and stuff like that. Um, but if I have to go in and fix that, I will. Um, I do have an engagement leader that I do have to go to. Um, that's why I chose to use a more muted kind of neutral palette versus something more fun. I'm definitely going to be filming with the Festival palette by Juvia's Place coming up soon. So they have some really fun teal and orangey colors. Um, so let's just get on into it, yeah? Um, so like I said, I already do have some makeup on. I did have to take my mom um, somewhere this morning, um, we had an appointment we had to go to, so, um, I put this on before I left. Um, one thing I am noticing, um, from photos that from far away when you wear glasses and you don't really wear any eyeliner or eye makeup, your eyes kind of get, um, maybe it's just my specific type of glasses, but they kind of get sw swallowed up and they're not very visible, um, so I'm just trying to kind of go for... A more natural but visible look especially for people who wear glasses so I'm gonna go in with the shade humble it's the first sorry <laughs> do you really want to see the basement <laughs> um, the first shade on the top left um it's kind of just like a peachy um, skin tone color um, I have already set my concealer that I put on my eyelids earlier when I was, like I said, doing my makeup um, before I left the house. Um, I've been using the, um, trying out the Hourglass um, finishing powder, and I bought the little size at Sephora, um, just to try it out first before I spent, like, $46 on the regular sized one. Um, so yeah. Okay. So next I'm going to go in, um, I really wanted to use this shade here. Sorry. Um, it's in, it's, the shade name is Seductive. It's a very, um, I swatched it on the back of my hand. It's kind of like, more rosy but not really rose gold but it's it's a beautiful color um yeah so let's go in with um charming we'll start creating a crease color um a crease color a crease um definition with that shade um like I said I because of the event later I don't really um want to go crazy but um Anyway, so the brushes I use most predominantly are Sigma, so the one I went in first was an E35, and this is an E25, this is a little bit more tapered than the other one, and then also today I have two Anastasia palette brushes that I'm going to use. Um, just for ease of use, I do typically carry those with me when I am traveling or house sitting because they have two sides, <laughs> so get twice as many brushes for the same, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, So I'm going to go in with the um, 
packer side of the Anastasia brush and I'm going to use that same color charming and I'm going to put it underneath um, my lower lash line thicker at the outer corner and kind of don't add any more product and just kind of drag it some of it to the inside Okay, so because of the tone of the shade Seductive, which I'm going to use on the lid, um, is, like I said, it's kind of hard to describe. It's not um, really pinky and it's not really purpley, but I am going to take some of the color Chic um, on the other side of the Anastasia brush and I'm going to put it kind of in the outer area just to give me some dimension. And purple plum and brown go so well together. Um, they complement each other very well. So we'll do that. The eyeliner that I have on today is from Stila. Um, it's I believe it's called Lionfish is the color. Um, I got it during last year's 21 Days of Beauty. I hope that was last year. If not, I should throw my eyeliner out. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, so um, I've had that for a while. And like I've said in, in a few videos, I'm really just trying to use products that I already have. Um... Again, and I've said this before on my channel, but the average consumer doesn't hopefully buy every makeup release that comes out. And so I want to be relatable um, and show people that they can create beautiful and feel beautiful with the things that they have. So I'm going to do something like that. So I'm just kind of more stamping the pigment and then blending. So um, where I put that shadow, I almost go like a diagonal from my nostril, like my pupil and kind of line it up there and that's kind of where I shoot for. Um, I almost do like a di diagonal this way. Um, I don't know if that's how normal people or other people do it, but that's typically kind of what I aim for. And I will bring it up a little higher on the top, so maybe it's almost more of like a C shape. Ooh, now for the fun part. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade Seductive. Oh, that's so beautiful. I am slightly putting it over the eyeliner that was there. It does peek through a little bit, so it does give it some dimension, but um, it's not going to predominantly show. So I'm going in with the shade um, next to Humble. It's the second one on the top row from the left. It's called Sassy, and I just put that in my inner corners. I am going to take a tiny bit of the purpley plum color chic and drag it the slightest bit down here. Okay. Um, just going to give myself a little refresh. Um, there we go. Come on, Smashbox. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Smashbox Primer Water, um, and what's great about that is you can also put it in the fridge, and then when you spray it, it's very chill. It gives it a nice, you know, chill, chill vibe on the skin. Um, so kind of, yes, it's a piece of cardboard. 
Okay everyone, that's the final look today. Um, I really, really love how this came out. Um, I really do think it does bring depth and dimension to the eyes, especially when you're wearing glasses, but it's also beautiful without. Um, you could even pop a lash on if that is your vibe. Um, obviously because of the occasion today I'm not going to, but yeah, so um, again this palette is beautiful, it's affordable, um, you can purchase it on Ulta.com, um, and I love Ulta because of their points system, so girl, get those savings if you can, right? Um, and so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in my next video, bye!